Ashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborn. Happy Friday. Oh, guys, I'm so annoyed. Uh, I got six minutes into recording and um, my phone update thing came on and cut off my video. I have no idea where I left off, so I am restarting. <laughs> Anyways, hello and welcome to those of you new. Right now you are looking at um, one of my babies. This is my toddler. Um... Uh, Aubrey, uh, she's the Liam Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and she has on her gorgeous, gorgeous dress from Auntie Renee. This is for the first time her trying this on uh, from Auntie Renee over at Random Reborns. I was see, truly, truly waiting because I wanted to get a nice, beautiful, sunny day to put the, you know, different pieces of clothing on. And we've had such little good weather. And I had, you know, I had a new baby coming and stuff like that. But we've had such really bad weather on the, the few days that it's gorgeous and sunny and warm. I'm outside with the kids and stuff. So, unfortunately, the lighting is not great. But I finally said, uh, you know, I'm dying to see this dress on her. Um, So, here she is. I... She's kind of holding up the dress a little bit so you can see a little bit of the shoes and it fluffing up. And um, anyway, she looks super adorable. At the end, I will flip her around and show you the back. It's got a beautiful bow. I mean, she just looks, oh my gosh, she just looks so sweet. <laughs> so, so sweet. Um, I likely won't get many photos today or any good ones because of the lighting. But anyway... I am here today to do a tag video. This one is the 20 tag question by My Sweet Cupcake Nursery. And there will be a link to Linda's channel below so you can go see the original video and get the questions off there. Um, I've seen several of you do the tag questions. Um, it's a fun tag. Um, it's 20 uh, questions, but it goes quick. They're quick questions. and. I think it's really nice because it's another one of those getting to know more about you type tags, which I love. I love when we all do the same tags that's answering the same questions that gets you get to know um, more about each other. It all goes around. Everybody usually watches it. So I really encourage everyone to um, definitely do this uh, tag video. You'll get a view from me, that's for sure, because I'm going around watching it all. Um, anyway... Um, so let's get started. Uh, question number one. What can you not leave home without? Uh, well, I'm sure that I'm up there with the many that is going to answer my cell phone because that is just the day and age that we are in. Um, my keys might be another because I'm whether I'm going to be driving or not, I do lock my house. So obviously I need to leave the house with the keys. So that would be kind of up there too. But you know, the first thing that pops into mind, of course, is my cell phone. I don't leave the house without it. Number two, what is your favorite brand of lipstick? I am not a lipstick person, ladies. Um, I have some Estee Lauder lipstick. Um, it, you know, usually comes as a sample um, along with, you know, when I'm buying like creams or, you know, something else. But... I really, I don't wear it. I mean, I maybe used two years ago. Um, I do wear lip gloss sometimes, like a, like a, a sheery nude color. Um, uh, I'll put on like lip liner and then some gloss if I'm going out. I really don't know what brand. I get that at CVS, the, the, my preferred gloss. <laughs> uh, I don't offhand know the brand. Um, all righty. Number three, what is your favorite flower? Well, flowers I love. I love a lot of flowers. I have a lot of roses tattooed on me. However, my favorite flower would be the stargaze lily. I am very fascinated by that flower. I love the stargaze lily. I love to look at it. I love to photograph it. Um, it is my favorite flower. Uh, number four, what is your favorite clothing store? <laughs> well, ladies, if you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a clothing fashion person. I would have to say the thrift store. 
Um, but uh, seriously, I, I don't know. I mean, I have a Marshalls and a Kohl's up by me. I like, love to shop at Marshalls, but it's hit or miss as to finding what you need. Kohl's is more of I can find the basics of what I need. So if I had to say, I guess Kohl's, I, I know that's not my, I know. I know the, the questions are probably geared toward people are going to say brand name things, but I, I, I don't, you know, I, I mean, like I, my purses, I'll either buy like core, um, uh, Michael Kors or coach, I, I, you know, but that's simply because of the quality and that I could buy a person at last five years and I don't have to swap my stuff in and out every six months, that sort of thing. So it's not because I want to carry around the name, it's because I want the quality. Anyway, um, and they and they seem to have the purses that, that I can find the different, you know, pockets and the things that I need. I, I, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm not a not a clothing kind of person. I mean, I, I I enjoy, there's a store in the mall, I don't even know what it's called, that sells a lot of different t-shirts and rock group t-shirts and stuff. Um, it's a bit newer, I think. We found it last time when we were shopping. We took Gabe for his birthday um, because I like to wear those kind of t-shirts. I don't even remember the name of the store, ladies. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Five, what is your favorite perfume? Uh, well, perfume I do wear. Uh, it's uh, Chanel Coco is my favorite perfume. Um, pretty much always has been. Years and years ago, I used to like the Opium, uh, which is very it's similar to the Chanel Coco. It's more of a knockoff of it. But um, So if I'm going to wear a perfume or perfume, it, it, you know, it's Chanel Coco. And I love the Love's Baby Soft. Um, I know it's old from years and years ago. In fact, I have it right here on my dresser. Love's Baby Soft. Um, so, you know, if I'm just, if I'm not getting like dressed kind of more to go out, I'll just put spray the Love's on. Um, otherwise, this bottle's almost empty, but I have a new one. It's the Chanel Coco. Um, I, my parents you know pick it up for me for Christmas every few years um this one's actually almost done and I have a new one ready to go um so yeah and interestingly enough I know I know I make the quick question thing into a long thing check this out guys Tasha perfume 1979 this is Avon of course I don't wear this and the thing is broken off here but my biological father was a chemist for Avon. Uh, he did not raise me. I did not meet him until I was mm, 20 years old. It was after my first daughter was born. Um, you know, I, I grew up kind of really wanting to know who he was and da 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 but he was a chemist at Avon. He actually designed this perfume, and, you know, uh, he's never admitted that he named it after me but we know <laughs> that this perfume was named after me um isn't that cool and if so if any of you have ever heard of tasha perfume of course 1979 you know you're we're aging you here but uh, um yeah that's was actually named after me isn't that cool um i wore it when i was a little girl um anyway it's, it's a pretty nice smell but it's old old anyway all right back on track guys number six do you wear heels or flats? Um, definitely flats. Um, I used to wear heels. Uh, you know, I would say probably 10 years ago, maybe last eight years ago, um, really when I started getting the back problems really bad, I can't wear heels. Um, and my, and I have some feet swelling now and stuff. Ugh, that's what happens with age. So yeah, definitely flats. Uh, seven, did you get good grades in school? No, I did not. I am lucky that I graduated high school. I went to BOCES. I have several learning disabilities. Um, I struggled in school and I did not get good grades. No, uh, I'm highly intelligent. I'm just not book smart and I certainly did not apply myself in school anyways. Number eight, what is your favorite color? That would be blue, uh, has been my whole life. Uh, nine, do you drink energy drinks? Uh, no, I do not 
drink energy drinks. I never have. I don't even think I have tasted one. Um, it's just not something, I mean, I don't like to put junk in, I, I look, I put a lot of junk into my body. I really do. Um, I'm not, I don't really eat healthy and stuff. I don't need to add something else. I suffer from migraines and I don't like the feeling of your heart pound. I don't know. No, I don't drink energy drinks. Uh, do you drink juice? I not really. I, I occasionally, you know, if I'm out to breakfast maybe or something in orange juice, um, you know, um, uh, you know, yeah, but not, no, not really. Um, do you like swimming? Uh, yes, I do. Um, uh, most of you probably don't know. So this will be an interesting tidbit, ladies. I was a competition swimmer um, in my childhood. I swam in the Junior Olympics. I won gold medals in the Junior Olympics in backstroke and breaststroke um, two years in a row in the running. Uh, so yes, I like to swim. I don't swim competition obviously anymore. And these days with my back and stuff, I just go in to get wet and be with the kids or whatever. And I can't do any of the things that I used to do and the diving and the flipping and all the, you know, stuff. Um, but you know, yeah, I, um, you know, a natural swimmer. If I did not veer off the road in life that I did, I, I would have been an Olympic swimmer. Um, I am naturally built for it. I had a very natural talent in swimming. <laughs> that is for sure. All right. Do you eat fries with a fork? No, I do not eat fries with a fork. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, 13. What is your favorite moisturizer? Uh, well, I use Estee Lauder on my face. Uh, usually I use like the time zone. Uh, sometimes I switch it up there. Night moisturizer. And for my body, if I put moisturizer on my body, I use Dove. Uh, Dove cream. Um, are you married, divorced, or would you like to get married? I am divorced twice. And currently, I am not legally married, but uh, as you hear me to refer to my husband all the time, um, we have been together 11 years now, 10 years, 10 or 11 years, gotta look at that. Um, and, uh, you know, no, we don't have a, a piece of paper to say we're married, but in for all intensive purposes, we are uh, you know, many of you know some of the things with my past and actually what was most important coming out of everything was making my children safe. So we went forward with, um, my, hu my husband or my partner, you know, um, for him to adopt my youngest daughter, Destiny. So I was technically, because I was, um, I was doing the divorce myself um, in, uh, rather than paying an attorney. So as I was in the process of do, doing my own divorce, so I was still technically married to her father, but yet my husband, quote, husband, adopted her. The courts, you know, did allow that. They act in the best interest of a child. So therefore, um, you know, that was that was done. Um, so we kind of have plans to get married, but then, you know, life happens and it's just doesn't feel like a necessary, uh, thing anymore in life. And, you know, I think if we did get married, it would just be nice to have a wedding or something and we're not in a position to do that. So anyway, yeah, no, I, I'm not married. Um, and I'm divorced twice. All right. 15. Do you get mad easily? Um... Probably, um, probably, uh, it, it takes a lot to get me upset, um, I, it, mad, you know, I, I guess, I, I don't, I don't know, guys, I, yeah, I think so, I get, especially, I get, like, really bad PMS, and, 
Um, you know, I suffer from chronic migraines, which I'm fighting one off now. I'm going to have to lay down after this video. I guess I get touchy and, um, or short and snippy, um, when I'm not, you know, feeling well. So actually, sorry, actually like mad, mad. I don't know. I, I don't think so. All right. All right. Uh, 16 do you have any phobias uh yes i uh i definitely have a phobia of snakes interestingly enough because i am a huge animal person i've kept a lot of reptiles in my life including skinks which are pretty much snakes with legs little legs but they have legs so it's different um i can't go near snake i i can't um, and the smaller ones are the worst because they feel like they're, they're slithery. They're out of control. Oh, God, no, I can't even. Um, my mom ha got bit when she was three years old, um, by a copperhead, uh, snake, uh, upstate New York. And, um, that's a poisonous snake. It was a very traumatizing experience, apparently, from what I hear. And she has a huge phobia. Whether she passed that down to me, that's very possible. Um, but I, I, I have a true phobia of snake. I jumped out a two-story window to get away from a kid with a snake once. I mean, like, I, I have no control over it. I'm that afraid. Um, so, yeah, that would be my phobia. 17, are you allergic to any food? Uh, I don't have any technical like documented allergies however i am sensitive to things like msg this triggers migraines uh you know certain foods trigger migraines but other than that no i don't have food allergies uh 18 do you bite your nails no i do not bite my nails i never did um i have other habits, but <laughs> no, I don't bite my nails. Um, 19, what other hobbies do you have? Uh, well, I love photography. Um, I write, um, poetry, journaling. Um, I, do, I haven't been doing that so often with the baby, you know, with the reborns as this hobby has been my main hobby, but I do enjoy, um, those things. I really enjoy, um, you know, being in nature. I don't know if you would consider that a hobby or not, but, um, yeah, photography would be like kind of the main other, you know, hobby that I, I love and enjoy doing. And then, you know, writing and stuff like that. Um, do you drink, uh, question number 20, last question. Uh, do you drink coffee or tea? Uh, yes, I am a big coffee drinker. Um, I do drink tea sometimes. Um, I'll drink it when I'm sick. Um, I'll drink, you know, cleansing teas occasionally or if I'm just in the mood for it. But I drink coffee every day, all day. <laughs> um, I usually make my own at home. It's a mix of the Dunkin' Donuts Dark and the Dunkin' Donuts French Vanilla. I usually mix that about half and half in my coffee maker. And um, that is the coffee I drink if I have to stop, um, which normally I bring my cup of coffee. But if I'm kind of stuck and I need to stop for a cup of coffee... I do stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get their French vanilla, or I enjoy their um, ice mocha latte with whole milk, whipped cream, and chocolate in the works. <laughs> Healthy, huh? Um, oh, and a couple of <laughs> shots of the stork shots in it. Uh, anyway, guys, so yeah, that's a little bit more about me. I've been enjoying learning about all of you. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm literally, I'm rubbing the back of my neck. I have oil, my, my relief oil on and I have taken an Imatrax and I'm, yeah, my allergies are so bad. I got out of the shower. I tried some of the nasal spray. I am, my head feels like it's about to explode. Ugh. So guys. Oh, let me see if I could get my phone off without shutting you guys off. If I lose you, I'm not doing this over. So God bless real quick. But um, so if if it just ends, I'm sorry. Um, 
but I'm attempting. Ah, got it. Okay. I wanted to show you Aubrey a little closer up. Look at her. Look at those beautiful blue eyes. You'll have to excuse, ladies. I have the sheets off my bed. I'm washing sheets and pillowcases and stuff. Um, ah, that is probably the neatest that you've seen my bed anyway. I wish you could get a good look at her blue eyes. Like, you can't even see her eyes in this lighting. But isn't this dress from Auntie Renee? Thank you, Auntie Renee. She looks just so, so gorgeous in this headband. So here is, oh, let's turn her. Here is the back of the dress. Look at that, how proper that looks with a little bow going down and the buttons going up. The headband looks so adorable. She just looks so, so beautiful in this dress. Oh, come here, big girl. I'm doing this with one hand now. Um, but I don't know if maybe we lay her down. We can see her eyes a little bit. Put her hand up there. Hey, pretty girl. Here, you can see her eyes a little better now. Her beautiful blue eyes. But, oh, she is just... She is so gorgeous. Look at this. The little shoes. And this dress has the crinoline under it. So it's got the fluff. It's got the matching, you know, it's got a pink diaper cover there. Oh, she just looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Come on. Up, girl. Up, up. Sit up. Whoopsies. <laughs> She always, like, the way, just the way that I guess her body's put together, her head tilts to the side a little bit like that. And with that face and eyes, she always has, like, a shy look on her face. But, oh, my goodness. She's such a sweetie. And this beautiful red curly hair. Um, she has human hair, rooted human hair. It's rooted beautifully. I love the baby hair in front. She was just... A really good find. I get so many compliments on her. Um, you don't see too many girl Liam's that look right because, I mean, for the most part, I I always have said I see boy in the sculpt, <laughs> um, for sure. And I really have seen a lot of hot messes of this sculpt, to be honest. And no offense to any, you know, it's just my opinion, and I'm not talking about anybody's baby in specific. Just. You know, when I Google images of the Liam, um, you know, it, I, I think it takes a very skilled artist's hand um, to, to get this sculpt right, to be honest. And I think that Aubrey is a true, ver you know, version of a, of a girl in this sculpt. Very nicely done. Um, there's things about this baby that are just very unique. Um, in the way that she is painted and rooted, um, that I kind of keep to myself because just I know and it's really cool. Um, you know, her bottom is a custom bo uh, bottom body is a custom body by the artist and that also is very unique and I really like it. Um, she's a bit bigger than, um, most Liam's. Um, she wears a uh, 24 months, um, and she's just, you know, taller and she just sits up straight. She holds very well. She poses very well. Um, you know, I, she's, she's definitely a unique, uh, uh, baby. Um, this artist's, you know, work is, is, is unique and, and really good. Um, as far as the ceiling, because she has, like, you can see a little shiny spot on her finger. And I bought her secondhand, but the first mommy only had her, like, a week or two. Like, it, it you know, she, in, in all reality, was brand new. So, I'm not sure if, why this is supposed to be. I, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I've never, you know, I'm not... Like I said, I'm careful about dressing her because I do notice a few shiny spots and I'm not sure should I invest now in having her rematted? Um, should I wait till it gets really bad? Um, should I make, you know, it's an expense and, you know, my nursery changes sometimes. So I just want to make sure before I invest money, um, 
into her that that's what I want to do. Um, I think, I mean, she's always going to be with me for a while, if not forever. Um, it is a bit having a toddler it takes up a lot of space that I don't have. Um, so it has nothing to do with me not loving the baby or being bonded to the baby. And I'm having a bowl, having a toddler uh, for sure. Um, but it does take up a lot of space. So I can't say down the road, you know, if we stay in this house, you know, I'm getting close to upon grandchildren, maybe. So there may come a time where I just don't have room or time for a toddler in my collection. Um, but if I do and continue to, um, Aubrey will be it. You know, there is no replacing this baby. There are, as I said, some very unique things about Aubrey that I'm just not going to find um, in another Liam. Um, that I'm very pleased with. So, um, I'm hard pressed to think I'd be letting her go anytime too soon. So I'm not sure about the matting. My thing is, is will it matter if I invest and have her rematted? Will it matter? Because, you know, it may just be that toddlers, that's why I'm kind of asking you all with toddlers out there. Um, do you notice that they get shinier fast than your other babies? Um, perhaps it's just the matting that this artist used and that, you know, it's okay. It's not, it, it happens. Um, and perhaps if I have her rematted, she'll stay for years not getting shiny like my other reborn. So, you know, it's, it's just a question for others with toddlers is that, you know, does that, does the, does the shine happen um, more quickly because they're bigger, because the clothes are rubbing, et cetera, et cetera. Because it, in case you all haven't noticed, I've changed Aubrey very little and I don't handle her often. So it shouldn't, I feel like it shouldn't, shouldn't be, but anyways. All right, guys. Um, but she is out of this world and matting is matting. It can be fixed, re, re finish, you know, that's a tune-up for a, you know, a, a reborn, that's maintenance on a reborn, that's nothing, you know, nothing bad. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, don't forget to head over to uh, My Sweet Cupcake Nursery and um, watch her tag video, get the questions, and I look forward to um, seeing everybody's answers. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right, everyone, God bless.